New York State's proposed budget has some cuts for funding highway repairs directly affecting the abilities of local road crews to do the patchwork and other maintenance. Tonight we hear the pushback from those who take care of the roads. Here's 7 News reporter Mark Mason Jr. Picture this, roads full of potholes, forcing you to slow down, forcing traffic to change, affecting safety on the road. That's the fear of people like Assemblyman Scott Gray, who held a news conference Friday to push back against $60 million in cuts Governor Hochul is proposing in the state budget, money that would go to local governments to fix and maintain roads. Uh, bringing us back whole of last year is not a, not a win. We're still underfunded. We still have a record high inflation rate. So therefore, record high inflation, bringing us back to what we were last year, is not going to allow us to do more road work because expenses are up. Assemblyman Gray and local highway superintendents not only are speaking out against the cuts, but want the funding for what's called the Consolidated Local Street and Highway Improvement Program, or CHIPS, increased to $800 million. As far as um, road maintenance, um, CHIPS covers the biggest, the biggest part of it. We um, have a schedule where we have to save up for three to five years to get enough money accumulated to pave the streets. It's a domino effect. Longer waiting periods means crews are forced to choose what roads take precedence. We're not going to adequately be able to repair the roads in a timely manner that we need to. So then you're going to have to sit down and say, what is critical, what is not? Where do we need to focus on compared to over here? And then somebody's going to feel like they're left out. Why isn't my road getting fixed and his is? Or, you know, that's hard to explain to the taxpayer when they just want good roads to drive on. Assemblyman Ken Blankenbush says 43% of roads in the state are in poor condition and that it's imperative that funding be increased to ensure the roads are safe. Mark Mason, Jr., 7 News.